We're learning more tonight about a deadly crash at the border near El Centro. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Carlo Chiquetto. I'm Marcella Lee in for Barbara Lee Edwards. Border Patrol agents say the 13 people killed were among more than 40 migrants they believe entered the U.S. illegally through a hole cut in the border fence. At least six survivors of the crash are still being treated in San Diego hospitals. News 8's Heather Hope has an update on the investigation. Carlo Marcella, we're getting a closer look tonight at the 10 foot long breach at the border wall that agents in El Centro say smugglers used to sneak in dozens of migrants yesterday. One SUV burst into flames, the other carrying 25 people crashed. Construction crews got deep down in the trench at the very spot where there is a hole in the border fence east of Calexico. Workers use measuring tape while closing up the wide gap. Agents say two SUVs drove through early Tuesday morning. Border Patrol says its surveillance shows about 44 migrants getting into the U.S. through two separate SUVs. One a red Chevrolet Suburban carrying 19 people caught fire and its passengers escaped and were found hiding in the brush before being taken into custody. While the Burgundy Ford Expedition crammed with 25 people crashed into a tractor trailer in Holtville killing 13 people. Uh, we have been able to identify identify 10 uh, people of uh, Mexican origin who were deceased in the accident. The expedition's 22-year-old driver is among the dead. Six survivors of the crash are being treated at trauma centers in San Diego. The 68-year-old big rig driver, Joel Beltran, is recovering in the hospital. Investigators say the SUV had two seats in the front, but all of the other seats were removed from the back to cram in more people. Some of the victims were, were ejected from the vehicle. There's some walking wounded that, that pulled themselves out of the vehicles. The border fencing is now repaired with reinforcements as investigators dig into the dangerous smuggling attempt. Our border is no stranger to breaches. Just 10 days prior in Otay Mesa, border agents arrested 14 undocumented migrants. They say were smuggled into the U.S. through an opening in the border wall there before getting into six separate vehicles. Immigrant rights advocates are too following the case closely. Alliance San Diego released a statement saying the tragic loss of precious life is a regular occurrence in the southern border region, often instigated by Border Patrol high-speed chases. But El Centro Border Patrol agents were adamant in saying the SUV was not being chased by Border Patrol. There are no other agencies or no uh, law enforcement personnel behind the vehicle. The Mexican consulate is contacting the families of the deceased. Some of the families are in Mexico, some of them are in the United States, and uh, we will uh, help them, of course, with the process of the transfer of remains. The NTSB is continuing its investigation into the deadly wreck. Heather Hope, News 8.